Yo! Hey Creeper, what are you up to? Oh yeah, are you still trying to learn how to function in the real world by watching TV shows? Not to be mean or anything, but that's legitimately one of the stupidest things I've ever heard of and you're a gigantic idiot for thinking that would work. No offense. What do you even aim to learn from these children's shows? What skills could you possibly learn from shows like this? The only skills I can think of are how to be a big man baby child. Wait what? Do you mind if I watch for a while? La 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 Cudgel 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 La 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 Hey Robert, aren't you gonna ask why I've been gone for so long? No, I don't care. I haven't uploaded in like five or six weeks. Aren't you curious why I haven't? No, I don't care. I've been in the shed, Robert. You know, the shed that I go into when I don't upload for extended periods of time. Don't you want to know what I do in the shed? Huh, Robert? Huh? No, I don't care. Alright, whatever. What you want? I just got done watching a show with Creeper about how to take over the world. Oh, well, I'm glad you're making friends. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, I want to take over the world now. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy, but that's kind of literally impossible. You're just kind of setting yourself up for disappointment when you realize that there's already a global elite controlling humanity's every move. I still have hope. I'm gonna take over the world and be the ruler of everyone. Just watch, Cudgel. It's gonna be freaking epic. He's so cute when he gets ambitious. Wait, maybe there's a way I can cheer him up once he inevitably fails. Hmm, what was the name of that show he was watching? Invader Zim. Yeah, I could make him an Invader Zim amiibo. Oh, I'm sure he'd like that. What's up, my little bits and bobs? Welcome back to Like Hudgel Channel. While Robert is off taking over the planet or whatever, I'm gonna make an Invader Zim amiibo. But don't tell him, it's gonna be a surprise. All right, but forget about that for a second. Right now, I'm gonna be grading the homework that I assigned you guys over the weekend. What, you don't remember me assigning you homework? Well, Tough Cookies Kid, the American school system is flawed. What, you don't live in America? Well, Tough Cookies Kid, you do now. Okay, let's see here, let me pull up the questions. All right, so question one, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel? All right, keep that in mind, that's question one. Now question two, have you checked out my Twitter where I post really garbage, terrible memes and just general shit posting? Okay. Question three, we've got have you checked out my Instagram yet? That's where I post high quality pictures of custom amiibos and even work in progress pictures that you won't see anywhere else. Have you also checked out my Etsy where I post the customs that I make sometimes where you can purchase them or even order a commission of your own? And then lastly, let's see here, uh, have you checked out my website? cudgel.com for comics and more videos and stuff like that. Alright, so I have your grade. Uh, skip to this time code if you answered no to any of those questions, and skip to this one if you answered yes to all of them. You failed. You absolutely failed. This is gonna go on your report card. Your mom's gonna see this, and she's gonna be pissed, kid. Your life is ruined, bucko. It's all over for you. You're not gonna be able to get into that college you want. You'll instead go to your local tech school for like a semester or two, and then you think to yourself, eh, college isn't for me. Then you move back into your parents' place, where you'll be living off of mommy's money. But they beg you to get a job. They don't want to keep feeding you pizza rolls and Hot Pockets. But you only get a job anyway because mommy's money can't afford your spending habits on your anime figurines and dakimakuras. And thus begins your illustrious lifelong career of flipping burgers until your arthritis gets so bad that your wrist hurts when you hold a spatula. You'll be forced to quit with no 401k, no retirement plan, plan, no savings. Once you're on your deathbed, your hospital bills will have to be paid for by maybe your sister or another relative or something. At 2.38 a.m. on a Thursday night, however, nobody will be able to see you off into the afterlife. Nobody but one. The fluorescent lights on the ceiling outside your hospital room will be the second to last thing your mortal body experiences, followed closely by a stranger entering your room. 
he's young, but you recognize him. He shouldn't be this young. Why is he this young? How did he know this was my time? You can't move as he approaches, your body already giving up on you. It seems as if time comes to a standstill as he approaches the side of your bed. Am I already dead? You think to yourself as you try to move your body, but you can't. All you can do is stare at the man as he walks forward, eyes refusing to move just like the rest of your body. You're forced to make out the face of this stranger through the darkness of your hospital room, illuminated only by the hallway light seeping under the door that the man just came through. It takes what seems like an eternity. After all, it is the rest of your life, but you manage to decipher his face. It's me. It's Cudgel. Your eyes become bloodshot. You immediately have a heart attack as you hear me say the last words you'll ever hear. You should have subscribed. Yeah, you did it! You passed, you get an A+. Anyway, let's go ahead and make an Invader Zim custom amiibo. Alright, boys and girls, and aliens. <laughs> <laughs> get it? Because Zim's an alien? <sighs> We're gonna get started on our Invader Zim custom amiibo. If you look closely at this picture of Zim, which is what we're going to be going off of with our sculpture today, you'll notice that his head is absolutely gargantuan, Damn. and his arms, legs, and neck are incredibly thin. This does not lend itself well to becoming a sculpture, as it would be extremely fragile. It would be, however, if not for the wireframe that we'll be making for him. Before I started this sculpture, I was worried about it being fragile, even with the wireframe, but spoiler alert for the end of this video, uh, it turned out fine. We're gonna put the wireframe on this temporary base that I made out of clay, which will help us by making it so that we don't have to hold onto the sculpture the entire time we're working. First up is the legs. Next we've got the body, which is a simple cone. This will just go right into the middle of our star-shaped wireframe. His shoulders have tiny little triangles, so I went ahead and added those here. Unlike his legs, which are relatively simple because they're just black, the arms have two colors. I'm adding the first color here, as you can see with your eyeballs. Now for the second half of the arms. We'll be adding the third half, the hands, later. There can't be three halves to anything, you dingus. That doesn't make sense. Whatever, Robert. I don't tell you how to live your life. Also, get out of here. You're ruining the continuity with the skit. I added his little collar thingy in preparation for the head. So no head? He's got some lines going across his shirt dress thingy, so I indented them, which I think looks better than if I, say, painted them on. Sorry to interrupt the video, but I know I used a bit of a scare tactic in the intro of the video when I told you to subscribe, so I kind of wanted to try again with a bit of a nicer approach. So, uh, here goes. All right. Uh, hey there, buddy. Uh, how you doing? Uh, oh, be sure to subscribe, all right? Oh, you're the best. Uh, you can do it. I believe in you. Uh, don't forget to like the video either or else I'll come to your house with a baseball bat and beat you up while you're asleep. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, all right, so that wasn't very nice. Uh, I guess I'm not too good at this. Uh, I'll get better though, okay? I'll, I'll keep trying. Uh, in the meantime, be sure to subscribe. Thank you. Now for his little backpack that has tiny little ladybug spots. Unfortunately, after I filmed and created this custom, I learned that the backpack only has three spots, but oh well. Finally, we can start on the head. It took me a while to figure out what shape to make it, since I've never seen a 3D version of Zim before, and his head in the picture we're using looks a bit strange because of the angle and the exaggerated expression. Nevertheless, I think I did a pretty good job in the end. Since his huge open mouth would look weird if it stayed green, I put a layer of black clay inside of it to give it the illusion of depth. Ooh, how's it feel that I'm tricking your eyeballs? Get got, nerd. Now for his teeth. Unfortunately, I couldn't exactly match the wavy look of his teeth in the picture, but I like how they turned out. It was also pretty fun to make teeth using this method. Give it some indents and then squish it along the side. It was pretty satisfying. Hmm, so the head so far looks like a horrifying bean monster, but that's okay, because I like beans. And just like that, the bean monster gets a body. 
we are all doomed now. His eyes are pretty huge, with the one on the left actually coming off of his head a bit at the top and bottom. The right one is smaller, but still pretty exaggerated. We'll add some shines to the eyes to make them look a bit better. I had a lot of fun getting the color right for the shines, especially because I'm colorblind and my wife wasn't home to help me with the color like she usually does, so it turns out I was on the completely wrong track the entire time and I should have just used the same color as the arms. Color blindness is fun, especially when you're an artist. Now for his disgusting tongue. I made a wireframe for it because it'd probably be really fragile otherwise. Yeah, well bam, we got some clay on that metal. However, it needs some lines like his shirt has. There we go, much better, nice and disgusting. Now we just need to shove it down his throat, which is pretty hot if you ask me. If I'm being honest, I probably made the tongue a bit bigger than I should have compared to the reference picture, but I'm not unhappy with it. I think it looks pretty good. Now his antenna. An antennas. It, or is it, is it antennae? Antennae. All right, I don't know why, but those pronunciation channels creep me the heck out. Let's move on. I couldn't give the legs as much detail as I wanted to, but I still like how they look. Compared to the reference picture, they should have had more of a gradual decrease in thickness as they go down at certain spots, but I just couldn't replicate that easily for some reason. I waited this long to add his hands because I was worried about smooshing them as I worked. I have a feeling they'll be pretty fragile as well, so I used some liquid Sculpey on the back of them. This stuff will harden when it's baked, giving the wrists a lot more stability. It'll also be mostly transparent when it comes out of the oven. Speaking of baking our sculpture, we've got one more thing to do before we can do that. Clean them up a bit using nail polish remover on the end of a Q-tip. Only his head really needed to be cleaned, so this part wasn't very hard. After we bake the boy, we can put him onto the resin base I made beforehand. We're going to be putting an Alamar NFC chip inside since you guys voted for him to be that character in game. Be sure to check my community tab on my channel for polls like this if you want to influence future videos. I also put cool stuff in there from time to time so don't miss out. Anyway, we're just gluing the two part base together and putting Zim's foot pegs into the drilled out holes. I wish Zim's feet had more detail because I would suck on his toes if he had them. And lastly, we will cover him in some matte finish to finalize our sculpture. Oh, what's it gonna, what's it gonna look like? Oh, uh, there it is! Yeah! We made ourselves a little Invader Zim custom amiibo. We've still got a good bit of the video left, so don't go away or I'll miss you, like, really bad. Anyway, be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, because I sure enjoyed you being here with me. My script also has a smiley face right after this sentence, so just picture that in your head. Subscribe as well, because my brain is stingy with the dopamine production and for some reason numbers getting bigger makes it do its job. Check out all my social medias, like Twitter if you enjoy garbage memes, Instagram if you want to be cool and see super secret work in progress pictures, as well as some pictures I took at the zoo the other day, my website cudgel.com for more videos and even some comics, and my Etsy if you want a commission or any other customs I may have for sale. Speaking of which, this Invader Zim amiibo is for sale as soon as this video goes up. Better get it fast, since there's only one. Want to hear a secret? I usually list these customs before the video comes out, so check out my Twitter and my Etsy if you want to know when I do. Anyway, ignoring the fact that I just told you guys this amiibo is for sale, let's get back to the skit where I make this amiibo for Robert when he inevitably fails to take over the world. All right, I am done. Oh, Robert, where are you? I'm right here, you dingus. Oh, well, how's your attempt at taking over the world going? I already did. What? Yeah, while you were doing whatever you were doing, I was busy conquering the world's major countries, like the United States of America, Great Britain, Russia, and Kuwait. Oh, Robert, while I am really proud of you for being able to accomplish all of that within the montage portion of this video, you're gonna need to give those countries back. But, 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 but... Robert, how would you feel if you built up a glorious great country like Kuwait, and then somebody came along and took it from you? 
pretty terrible. And how do you think Sabah al-Ahmad al-Jaber al-Sabah, the monarch of Kuwait, feels about you taking his country? Alright, fine. I'll give the world back. That's a good boy, and for being such a good sport, you get this here Invader Zim custom amiibo. What the heck is this? It's... it's Zim, the main character of the show you were watching with Creeper. You know, Invader Zim? Oh, I didn't really pay attention to anything of that show other than how to take over the world. Thanks for making this video about whatever that character is though. More YouTube revenue for me.